Hi guys, this is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. Welcome back. This is, uh, here we are continuing the tutorial from our last tutorial on changing camera views. On this tutorial, I will teach you guys how you can hide the first person mesh when you change to a third person view and how you can hide the third person mesh when you change to a first person view. So it's kind of tricky because you got to do like a couple of things. First of all, I'm going to explain something. Uh, we have two different kind of ways to making something visible on the game or invisible. And you got two options. Make it visible or invisible or just showing or hiding the object on the scene. Now, you may say, what's the difference? It's the same thing. You're just going to hide the thing. No. Making it visible or invisible. Let's say, let's start with invisible. Making it invisible doesn't take the mesh out of the game and the problem with that is that if you make it only invisible and you have some objects like trees and stuff like that or I don't know anything that you may have on your scene that mesh will, will collide with other objects it will have you know type of glitches that you won't want on the game now hiding the mesh from the game is different because it just takes off the mesh it doesn't collide with any, with anything on the scene so that's the difference of making it invisible from hiding the mesh now this is going to be a little bit tricky so i'm going to show you guys really quick how to do this and we need to keep it like really organized so we don't so i don't get you guys lost because we got to pull like a lot of things here okay so we need to use the uh, mesh to be the fp underscore gun and the third body mesh we need to drag these three to our event graph fp gun and the third body mesh so i'm going to do it also for this one the third body mesh there we go so now we need to add the functions. First of all, let's start with the body mesh. So on the number two, when we when we press the key, the number two on the keyboard, it changes to the third person view as we showed on the previous tutorial. So we need to make this third body mesh visible. So for that, Let's, let's play around only with the heading. You can play around with the invisibility later on, which are all properties and options. So let's set the thing. It's going to be unchecked because it's supposed to show. If you check this, it's going to hide it. So let's connect it to the completed. And now for, let's, let's go to the bottom. Now, in this part here, when we press the number three on a keyboard, it changes to the first person view. Now, here, you don't want to see the body of your character. Why? Because you will have two meshes. You can't see two meshes. You have to decide. Or you use one mesh, a third, a third character, a third uh, odd mesh for view, for a third person view. Or when you, if you're going to be playing with two meshes, you have to do it this way. Because if you don't hide the third character, a third mesh, you will have two meshes on your camera. And this will cause a lot of glitches because you will see two hands, uh, you will see four hands, two guns. You will see a complete body and everything is going to be glitched. So you don't want that in the game. So you need to hide the body. So here we're going to hide this one set hidden we're gonna connect it to the completed and now let's work with the guns so when we press number two we change to a third person view we need to hide the hands and the gun so let's set hidden let's connect this one okay let me pull it over here there you go. I'm going to copy another one. There we 
There we go. So we're going to connect the mesh 2 p and the FP gun with the targets. And after that, we're going to connect the end of the function hiding the body mesh with the ones for the hand and the, and the gun. Also on this one. Here we go. Now here we're going to tell him that Okay, let's go first for the key number two. First of all, we're changing to the third person view. You need to hide your hands and your gun. So it needs to be checked. And when we're changing to the first person view, you need to leave this unchecked because you need you want to see your hand and your gun. Now for the body, it has to be checked. So it will be hidden as soon as you change to the first person view. Okay. Let me put it here so you can see clearly what we're doing. Let's compile. Let's make a test. Okay. I pulled a little bit to the front of the mesh because I couldn't see the hands of the gun. So I didn't know what was going on because I didn't see no... Uh, progress when making the tutorial so I moved it a little bit to the front from the camera so let's change to the third person view so it hides the gun and the hands we don't see them and we and when we change to the first person view it hides the cube the body and only shows the hand and the gun it's pretty easy you just need to work around with everything uh, different options is like any other engine you need time to practice and you should but you can accomplish a lot of things just by hiding and showing things on your scene well guys this is Angel from PRGV Entertainment I hope this I hope you guys like this tutorial it was a little bit tricky and a little bit long but anyways uh, nothing is easy always so this is Angel from PRGV Entertainment. I'm back. I feel so good about it. Anyway, guys, comment on the box below, and I'll be glad to help you guys out. Bye-bye.